Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Calvin Weaver back again with another video. And today I am going to touch base with a few potential customers for my business. I want to reach out to them. One of my employees have already been in communication with them. Um, but so far we haven't been able to set up an appointment to sit down with them and discuss possibly bringing them in as a client. So today I'm going to go out, um, I'm going to dress up, you know, put my business attire on and, um, we're going to go out to the, um, locations we've been speaking with the receptionists at the businesses. So we're going to go, I'm going to formally introduce myself. Um, and I'm going to hand over a flyer for my business, um, along with a business card, um, and just kind of get familiar with the facility. Um, let the receptionist who my, um, employee has been communicating with, let them get to know my face and hopefully I can run into the decision maker, um, the owner of the business or the person that's, that's running the show. I can run into them and be able to, um, set something up in person today. So right now what I'm doing is I don't have business cards made. So, um, I guess basically I'm going to make some business cards right now. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to try to position this camera in a way that you can kind of see what I'm doing. It's one thing that's very, very important when you're running a business, a service based business where you have to service other businesses or clients and things like that in order to secure the deal and get the client in. You really have to go out there and you have to show yourself. You have to let the people know who you are, um, what type of person you are, and show them that their meet, that their needs mean more to you than getting their business. And so that's basically what I want to do. I want to see if there's a need that needs to be met. And then I want to let them know that I would be a great person. My company would be a great company to to administer those services that are needed. Um, and so that's what we're going to do today. And shout out to my boy, AJ Simmons from, um, the clean biz network, which I am a member of. He is totally like just came into my life and just given me, um, a spark of just encouragement, inspiration, um, to just get out there and just do it. Like you don't have to wait until you get the professional business cards, make some, you don't have to wait until you have all the employees go get the job. You know what I'm saying? So, um, shout out to AJ Simmons, um, and the clean biz network. I definitely recommend if you know about him and you haven't joined the group yet, join the group, you'll be encouraged. You'll be inspired. Um, so basically what I'm going to do right now is I've printed up, well, I've cut up this envelope right here. Um, so we're going to go on to, um, let me grab my laptop. All right. So we're going to go to canva.com. That's a site that I like to use. So we're going to use canva.com. I got a lot of stuff here that I've been doing. Um, we're going to go to we're going to drop down and look for something that says business cards. They should have like a template um, for business cards. Here we go. Boom. Business cards. Um, I love Canva. It's just a dope program. And so we don't want to do anything fancy with these business cards. Um, we're just going to keep it straight to the point. And... Um, Nothing too crazy here. Bring the font down and I like this font a lot. I don't know why I like this font. I just like it. The point of this is just no excuses. Of course, I can pay and get better business cards made but this is just like I woke up this morning and I told myself like I need to go out go meet with these receptionists um, talk with them let them know who I am and um, see if I can run into the decision maker um, or get in good with the receptionists um, that they'll actually press 
um, the decision maker into giving me a call so we can set up the meeting. Boom. I think I like the way that looks. I really do. I really, 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 really do. So, boom. Simple business card. We're going to go ahead. We're going to download that. We're going to download it in the highest res possible, which is here is the PNG file. Um, I'm going to send it to the printer. And let's get it. So, I got my business card. Um, we're going to take the envelope here. And we're going to stick it in the printer. And I'm going to print like two more. And then I'm going to change up clothes. And then we're going to go out and drive to the different locations. Ugh. All right. So I have completely changed clothes. I got my dress shirt, uh, my slacks on, my uh, church shoes on. And uh, we're ready to go. I got my binder here. And so I keep my notepad. I got my pens. I got my calculator here in case I need to do um, any measurements or anything like that. And um, here I got my information here. So I got my flyer about my service, as you can see. Got my flyer, I got the little business card that we just created, and my flyer, and we're good to go. So, um, I'm about to get ready to drive over to the first location, and I'll turn the camera on when I get there, and we'll move from there, alright? Alright guys, so I'm pulling up to the first daycare now, I'm going to hook up my, um, my phone to the audio so you guys can hear you guys can hear what's going on all right stay tuned all right guys so I tried to hook up my phone so I can record the audio but because I have my shirt tucked into my pants I couldn't do it but anyway the first visit went phenomenal right so the lady, uh, the receptionist was an older lady, um, and she just was smiling, you know, smiling, smiling, smiling. I don't know if it's because I'm a handsome man or what, but anyway, she remembered who I was from our phone conversations, and um, I told her that um, I know that her boss is hard to track down. He wasn't there at the moment, but she, I gave her my information, and she did agree um, to pass it to him. And as I was walking away, she stopped me and she said, hey, and then I said, yeah. She was like, next time you come back, let me show you where my office is so you can come directly to my office and see me. So that was a good sign because not only did, not only did I get her to take the information and receive the information with a smile on her face, but now she told me exactly where to find her the next time I visit the school. So I'm gonna follow up with her again, um, probably next week, um, Thursday, to see if she was able to, um, to pass the information to her boss. And if I have to come back again, I will, because I know where to find her. And um, her vibe was just so, so nice that I'm pretty sure if I show up again that I can get more information from her on how to um, sit down with her boss and discuss them using our services. And also while I was there, I saw this cool flyer from the school and um, it actually has the email address for the president slash CEO of the company. So I'm definitely gonna be um, emailing her and saying, hey, you know, I spoke with Miss Betty at this location and um, she told me that you guys are definitely looking for um, these services and I just wanted to see if you guys were interested in scheduling a walkthrough. So guys, it's it's working, it's working, it's working. Again, shout out to my boy AJ Simmons from the Clean Biz Network, man, for just inspiring me and encouraging me to get up off my butt and get out there and, and don't be afraid of the word no. And so it's been working out, it's been working out. So we on now, I gotta make a quick stop and then we're gonna go to the second daycare and we're gonna see what's popping on that end, all right? Peace. All right, y'all, so we just left the second school 
and again it went very very well so like i said both of these schools that i just visited i've already been in contact with them so i know specifically who to ask for she knew who i was immediately um when i walked in the door she had never seen my face before but she knew who i was and um she's very interested she's very 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 interested and um she told me to call back any day after one which is when the owner will be present um and to me it seems like she handles everything so me showing up showing my face i think that did something again don't wait to have it figured out as you can see i use business cards that i created out of an envelope and flyers that i printed with regular sheets of paper and i just went out there and i just spoke with the customer and um just gave them the information and uh that's all it takes really so now is the easy part it's just following up like those two receptionists they know who i am already so now all i have to do is follow up with them and when they hear my voice they can put a face to the voice now and the most important part is I know how to get to them if I need to get to them again and um, that's very important so um, that's it for today's video whatever you do don't give up on your dreams keep pushing keep grinding and that's why I did this video because I want you guys to see me in the field working grinding pushing even though I don't have all the answers even though I don't have it figured out I'm just pushing through and just doing the best I can do. No excuses. So I encourage you guys, whatever your dream and whatever your goals is, you do the same. You keep pushing. You keep knocking on doors. You keep going. You don't give up. And don't wait until you have it all figured out because guess what? We never have it all figured out. And if you try to wait until you have it all figured out, you'll end up missing your opportunity. All right? So God bless you. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos. And uh, stay blessed. All right? Peace. Six figures or better should be the common motive. But y'all just trying to see change like Obama voted. Money ain't my only love, but it's the main goal. And I'ma get it deal or no deal like the game show. Will I succeed? That's rhetorical. Cause my face looking like a dead president memorial. Ask around, they'll tell you how my grind be. Money's longer than the lines at the DMV. But don't confuse this with bragging, this is motivation. The grind like you on the hand, real rollerblade. Cause a lot of y'all turning into weed heads. And your pockets balder than the back over she head. Yeah, I know that line went over your head. But you know you can count on me to say what pose to be said. And I'm always thinking how to earn more. That's why I got money schemes bigger than Howard Stern knows. I'ma go get rich today and leave my daughter's mouth closed like stores on Christmas Day. Cause it's a lot of people hoping I fail. So I'm pissed like when I heard Zimmerman posted this bill. But it's cool, watch me prove I'm wrong. My grind remind me of the smell of porta potties and that you is strong. So I'm eating good in the neighborhood, no dinner. Fuck your opinion, cause it ain't worth four pennies. You can't tell me how to do what you ain't never done, so don't talk business to me if you ain't running one. You say you kicking, but not eating. You like a kid with a plate full of spinach, not eating. Why fake hustle? You can actually do it. Why worry about G5s if you ain't actually fluent? Uh, the bottom line is get bread, man. And watch that bank account rise like LeBron headband. Uh, can I live? Can I? Yeah. I hope you enjoy the show.